Welcome to Crafting with Louisa. I'm Louisa and today I'm going to show you a crochet pattern. Um, well, a crochet <coughs> stitch pattern. Um, I found this in one of my crochet um, stitch pattern books. Um, and I wanted to just do um, a dish cloth, um, which I think is quite a useful thing just to get to know a stitch pattern. Um, so this is a stitch pattern. Um, it's really easy. Uh, there's one set up row and then every row is the same. Um, and the yarn I used for this was a cotton yarn um, and it's Lily Sugar and Cream Buttercream Ombre and I just picked that up at the range. Um, and the pattern that I'm gonna the pattern that I use for this is from 280 Crochet Shell Patterns by Darla Sims and it's a lovely book. Um, and the pattern is pattern 28 full bloom um, and just to make things easy each I'm going to call those a bloom which will make sense in a minute so put that aside um, so I've just got a kind of simply soft I think for any yarn um, so do um, a slip knot first of all um, and this is a multiple of five plus four um, so basically one two three four so basically you just want to go one two three four five one two three four five and so on until it's as long as you want um, and then you add four at the end so so that's as long as I want. So that's a multiple of five. And then when you've got it as long as you want, you just want to add four on the end of that. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So that's that. Um, The pattern is two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Um, am I going to call that a bloom because it's called full bloom? Um, doesn't have that in the pattern, but I thought that was easier. So you're going to count. Don't count the loop on the hook, but you're going to go um, six chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four. Five, six. Now I might turn that over and get the one on the back. So, so you're going to do a bloom. So two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Okay. All into that same chain. So two double crochet. And there's one set up row which is this row and then each every row is the same um and apart from this chain obviously where you go into chain you're not actually going into um any stitch you're going into the chain space so and then the repeat is you skip the next four chains so one two three, four, and then you're going to do another bloom, so another two double crochet, um, <coughs> chain one, two double crochet, um, and these are in US terms, um, and I'll see if I can convert them into UK terms so 
then you're just going to do that across the row so you're going to skip four chains and then do a bloom skip four chains do a bloom until you get to the last three chains and i'll join you back then okay so got that far so i'm now on the last i've only got three chains left and you are gonna skip two chains and then the last chain you're going to put a single um not a single that's going to confuse everybody isn't it <laughs> you're going to put one double crochet i was going to say put a single double crochet but that's going to confuse everybody isn't it and um, so last three chains skip those chains and put a double crochet in the last chain So that's the setup row. So you're not going to do that row again. So now we're on row one, which is every row the same. So turn your work, chain three, which counts um, uh, as a double crochet. So what you're going to do now is you're going to put a bloom the um, double crochet chain one double crochet into that chain space so this is great for beginners if you're not quite confident you're getting it into a stitch so do two double crochet into that chain space then you're going to hop over to the next chain space and put your two double crochet chain one two double crochet in there so you're going to do that all the way across the row um, and I'll meet you back when we're done that last one. Do double crochet and then chain into the top chain. Do a double crochet into the top of that chain. <laughs> Try to get two. There we go. So we'll, so that's that, and that make a lovely blanket. Um, so and then I'm going to chain three and I'll just do that row again. So one, two, three, and that counts as a double crochet. And then you're going to do the bloom again into that chain space. And what I like about this is each row is the same, you know, so especially if you're doing a blanket, you know, you'd know this off by half. Um, and I'm doing this in Karen Simply Soft and it actually looks on a four and a half mil crochet hook so I've done that shell and uh, shell done that bloom and I'm gonna go and do the next bloom so bloom and we're gonna do a double crochet you're going to skip those two double crochets do a double crochet in the last in the top of that chain spit and the top of that chain three from the beginning of the last row okay and that's it really that is the pattern so that's what the pattern looks like um the only thing i don't like about this is that little bit of a shell at the top but you could probably block it out or if you're doing a blanket and you're putting a board around it 
um, I wouldn't worry about it and it did it a little bit um, on the top of the dishcloth but I'm not doesn't really bother and it has blocked out a little bit because I've actually have actually washed this um, so yeah I hate you give this a go um, and the book is such a lovely book um, I'll put a link for it the 280 crochet shell patterns really nice book um, so yes I'll put a, um, there'll be a blog post blog, blog post for this um, and I'll convert that into UK terms um, as well and put that on my blog so thank you for watching I've been Louisa from crafting with Louisa and and I hope to see you next time bye <laughs>